Miss Samantha, uh, Great Souls Testimony. Tell us what the Lord did for you this last week. Um, so Wednesday, good morning. Um, Wednesday, I went out with Outreach, my MSP. And um, so Wednesday was a rough day for me. I um, got some bad news from back home. And it kind of like made me a little like sad and everything. Um, so I went out in outreach. We went mass soul winning, and um, I was just not I was just not feeling it. And I was like, Lord, I need I need I need your strength today. I can't do this. And um, so um, so we went out mass uh, we went out mass soul winning, and they made me team lead, which I was like, okay, okay, Lord, something something's gonna happen today. Um, so we went out to this neighborhood in Tampa, and um, as we were driving there, I was just praying in tongues, and I was like. Lord, I need you today, like, and um, as soon as I stepped out of the car, I, I said to the Lord, I said, Lord, I want you to bring me people today, um, and a girl came running around the corner and was like, hey, girl, what's up? Like, she knew me, and I was like, I just went into the soul winning script. Um, she got saved, and then I got, um, I was going around, and I got a couple other people saved, and then there was, these, there was this couple um, under a, um, under an abandoned building, and I just went up to them and I said, hey, do you know that God loves you and has a wonderful plan for your life? And they were like, no, I'm homeless. So he absolutely doesn't. And I just felt like I felt to tell my testimony on how I was homeless with my ex at one point and um, how I ended up in a mental hospital um, and how like the Lord just completely set me free and healed me and everything. And um, so then I just went right back into the strip. They got saved. Um, and then I told them about um, the baptism of the Holy Ghost. They both got baptized in the Holy Ghost, and <laughs> Amen. And um, and then so then I went to go give them a hug, um, and um, one of the uh, the the man that was right there said um, that I went to, he went to get up and give me a hug, but he couldn't get up because he had surgery in his neck that made um, the nerves in his leg weak, and. Um, so I said, well, the same Jesus that you just asked into your heart is the same Jesus that can save you, that, that can heal you. Do you believe that? And he said, he looked at my old self-harm scars in my arm, and he said, well, if he did it for you, he can do it for me. So I just, I just let it rip, and I, <laughs> and I just told him, I said, start praying in the Holy Ghost, this prayer language that you just got as, I, as I'm praying. And as I'm praying, I just felt like the... <laughs> the gift of faith come upon me, like the pastors and everybody was like teaching about that. And I'm like, Lord, I want that. And like, I don't know how to explain it, but it just came upon me. And it was like, I knew that when I, when I prayed, this man was going to be healed. This man was going to walk because there's power in the name of Jesus. And I have the authority to use that name. So I just, I just said in the name of Jesus, the, the nerves in your leg be made whole. And I just like let it rip. And I told him by faith, I want you to get up and walk. And he walked and his girlfriend behind him was like, I've never seen, I, I haven't seen him walk like that before. So he's, uh, he was completely healed. He was walking. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> and I just told him, I kept just saying, thank Jesus, thank Jesus. He's the one that healed you. He's the one that saved you. He's the one that healed you. And um, so I just want to encourage you. Don't get, don't get discouraged by things, you know, in family or anything like that. Just keep doing what the Lord's called you to do. And the Lord will take care of it. Because I was over there during worship and looked at my phone and everything that was going on Wednesday, the Lord took care of it this morning. And my family just texted me. So, amen. <laughs> Hallelujah. There's power in the name of Jesus. Amen.